Hi children, um, my name is Saraswati. Already I gave two videos for Sundam channel. This is my channel. And today I am going to represent important problems, concept based chapter 1. I want to cover because the board exam is coming soon. All will be very tense. What to study, how to study, when to study. So, a lot of things you will struggle to learn mathematics. So first, chapter wise, what are the things going to study that I want to discuss because particular problem do it, that problem will not come. So exercise wise, I want to discuss in this video. First, number one, chapter one in 12th standard. This is uh, uh, matrices and determinants. So here everything matrices wise, easy. First exercise, easy. Uh, first exercise, concept wise, I want to discuss with you people. Uh, that is what is there in the first exercise only simple concept inverse functions transportations how to take the transpose how to take inverse functions that area only covered in the first exercise exercise 1.1 this way you should learn don't read all the 12 problems in the first exercise with the example how to learn how to work out where is the time to work out don't get tense so this video will be useful to you. First exercise, how to learn inverse. So you have to remember only one thing, that is a only one formula, A inverse. A inverse formula you should remember. What is A inverse? A inverse equal to 1 by determinant A into adjoint of A. This is how to find A inverse for 2 cross 2 matrix, 3 cross 3 matrix. 2 cross 2, first you have to find adjoint of A. Adjoint of A easy to learn for 2 cross 2. That is like 2 cross 2 matrices is there. Left hand side interchange, right hand side sign change. Then after finding the GA, find determinant A. Determinant A everyone knows for 2 cross 2. Left hand diagonal multiply minus right hand diagonal multiply. So you will get determinant A one number. It should be not equal to 0. Determinant A is 0, A inverse does not exist. That is the main point you have to notice. So A inverse formula is 1 by determinant A into adjoint of A. Suppose if you get determinant A answer 0, you have made the mistake in the questions. It will not be determinant A not equal to 0. For A inverse finding problem, you notice one point. Determinant A should be not equal to 0. That you have to get the confident. So after getting adjoint of A and determinant A, substitute in your formula for A inverse. A inverse formula what? 1 by determinant A into adjoint of A. That's how you get the answer. Second one. A B whole inverse is equal to B inverse A inverse. So in this question, lot of steps you have to mention. A B whole inverse left hand side you are going to find. So first you have to find determinant A. A B matrix multiply. Then determine the AB, then adjoint of AB. That all the concept you have studied. So find the left hand side AB whole inverse answer. 1 by determine the AB into adjoint of AB. Then come to right hand side part. B inverse means 1 by determine B into adjoint of B. A inverse means 1 by determine A into adjoint of A. So you substitute B inverse answer into A inverse answer multiply. You will get right hand side. Both should be equal. This is the main concept. After that, here some 5 marks are there. So, A inverse is equal to 3A transpose or A transpose is equal to A inverse. There are some 5 mark questions are there. That is 1.1. Problem number 7 to 12. Only 5 marks. Concentrate very well. Same like that. For example, area you move on. Then, is it clear? No. Come to, I am coming to 1.2 exercise. Solve matrix inversion method. What do you mean matrix inversion method? First you go to the formula. So AX is equal to B format. You should arrange the given equations. So given equation make it like the matrix form. AX equal to B format. From this find X value. So A inverse B. So how to solve the matrix inversion method? X is equal to A inverse B is the formula. And in the question paper only solve. That means you can apply matrix inversion method or determinant method or rank method. But in the question, 
Solve by matrix inversion method means you should use second exercise concept only. If you apply determined method, that is further exercise will come, they, will, they won't alert the marks. That you have to be read the questions carefully. Next, uh, x is equal to a inverse b. This is the formula to find the matrix inversion method. A inverse, how to find? 1 by determinant a into rg a. That logic apply. And this answer multiply with B matrix. What is B? Your question, right hand side, numbers, you make it to the column. That is B matrix. After multiplying this, a capital X means X, Y, Z. That is column wise. Then A inverse answer multiply with B. After that, equate row wise. You will get what is X value, Y value, Z value. This is very simple exercise. All can learn first two exercises. Then I move on rank that is 1.3. Find the rank. The rank may be 3 cross 3 matrix or 3 cross 4, 3 cross uh, 4 cross 4 cross 3 cross 4 matrix. So 3 cross 3 elementary method also applicable, applicable or determined method also applicable. For 3 rows and 4 columns, use only elementary operations. And in this exercise, I want to share one thing. You have to apply only row operations. Column operation anybody doing, mark will not be allotted. It is strictly mandatory rank by row operations. So, column operation, please avoid that. And uh, how to find a rank? The elementary operations do it. After that, you have to get eclan form. That means A11 number 1. Then A21 is 0, then A31 is 0, then A32 is 0. The triangle shape format is called a eclan format. That you have studied, I think so. After getting the eclan format, see the number of rows. How many rows numbers you are getting? That is the rank. Suppose the last rows, eclan format after getting, 3 non zero rows comes, rank of the matrix is 3. 2 non zero rows comes, Rank of the matrix is 2. So in this way you have to alert. So you have to read the 1.3 exercise clearly and correctly using the row operations. Because this exercise will continue to 1.5 exercise. It is interlink. This exercise what mark you can expect. Only 3 marks problem will come. So rank of the matrix you have to concentrate and study very well. Next I move to 1.4. 1.4 is determined method. Solve by determined method. There are two types. One is non-homogeneous, another one is homogeneous. How to find a non-homogeneous equation in the question? Or see the read, read the questions, three equations. Right hand side number coming, it is non-homogeneous. Three equations right hand side become zero, it is homogeneous. That is the technique to learn. After that, Non-homogeneous equation, determined method. So, there are four cases are there. One is Gamma's rule. Another one is reduced to single equation. Another one is reduced to two equations. Another one is no solutions. There are five types. So, the five types, in the textbook, read the introduction. Case 1, Gamma's rule. Subcase 2A, subcase 2B, subcase 2C, subcase 2D. After learning this concept, Touch the exercise. What is the point of view? Which question will come for the 5 marks? Reduced to 2 equations. Reduced to 1 equations. Solved by the commas rule. That is for 5 mark questions. All the no solution type questions study together with the example and exercise. That will come for the 3 mark problems. So, it is a 5 marks problem. This exercise 99% will come. So, all should learn reduced to two equations problem with the exercise and examples, reduced to single equation problem with the exercise and examples, Kramer's rule based one. Out of three concepts, board exam point of view, 100%, one five mark, they, they will take. So, be alert and work it out, take practice very well. And number fifth exercise I am coming, it is a rank method. Rank method is same three equations. You got to solve by rank method. So you have to connect with 1.3. So three equations will be given. 
homogeneous or non homogeneous pattern you go to 1.3 how elementary operations applied that you should apply for the augmented matrix what do you mean augmented matrix the question left hand side a that is a x coefficient first column y coefficient second column z coefficient third column after making that fourth column you have to make that is your question right hand side numbers so you will get three rows and four columns that is augmented matrix a comma b after framing with this augmented matrix make the elementary operation one by one convert to the eclan form in the eclan form the what is rank of a what is rank of ab both not equal you finish the question it is a no solution problem inconsistent and no solution this is for three marks and rank of a is equal to rank of ab is equal to number of unknowns how many unknowns x y z is the unknown so 3 n is equal to 3 the entire exercise problem number of unknowns denoted by n so rank of a 3 rank of ab 3 number of unknowns 3 so 3 all the values are equal how to find the solution the system is consistent and a unique solutions so the take the three uh, assign the arbit arbitrary value for is it equal to k like that you have to proceed and suppose rank of a 3 rank of ab 3 and number of unknowns is equal to 3 use this method rank of a 2 rank of ab 2 number of unknowns 3 so it is number of unknowns less than the rank of a so what you are doing it is infinitely many solutions so like this way you have to understand the concept and do it and the children i want to tell you my discussion is if you are thorough in first chapter concept wise use this video this is your recap so concept wise learning will help you lot whatever created problems the government will make you can able to do the problems simply exercise wise sums doing not discuss about the concept definitely in the examination you will forget the concept so every exercise wise i discuss just i discuss what to study that is my aim i'm giving this video and uh, learn the process learning process and concept wise work it out not a problem wise so main concept covered by the first chapter matrices and determinants i explain so after learning the first chapter again see this video you will get lot of ideas without study the first chapter if you see you will get boring next uh, video i want to give chapter 2 only what are the concepts first exercise to 2.12 2.11 i am going to discuss and upload for my children so after seeing this video subscribe my channel send a mass and uh, one more thing i want to share to you if you have any other further doubts will be clarified my virtual online classes uh, that is a skype class i am telling and uh, whatever doubt i will clarify in that wherever you are in tamil nadu you contact me through my email i will give the details for about the regarding this uh, skype classes that means uh, online teaching methodology so one to one also you can see and clarify your doubts Thank you so much. Bye.